Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTV6. Let's continue with the tower guides and tutorials. Um, military monkey is now the submarine. So I have deactivated monkey knowledge so you can see the tower by itself without any extra help. And let's go into sandbox. Now the submarine is the very first tower that we encounter that is not going to be placed on land but it's going to be required to be placed on water. Um, so unless your map has water, you're going to be forced to use a portable lake if you want to place it uh, elsewhere. And uh, now the description here says, shoots homing torpedo darts at nearby balloons and then must be placed in water. Uh, so you can see here, just by placing submarine, the range is pretty nice, so pretty okay. Uh, the cost is the same as the boomerang. Uh, the damage is one layer. The attack speed is pretty decent as well. Um, and the piercing is one. So with each dart, can, you can pop up to two different balloons. Um, now, regarding camo detention and uh, lat popping power, I'm going to first cover the lat popping power. So you can um, very basically, uh, you have an upgrade that is going to allow you to pop both lad balloons and frozen balloons. That is the second one in the middle tree. So this is the easiest one. Or you can also pop uh, lad balloons with the fourth upgrade in the first path. Uh, and here he says pop balloons. So with this upgrade you can, you can pop uh, lad balloons as well. Now, instead um, talking about camo detection, the, um, the matter is a little bit more complicated uh, because the sub with the third upgrade in the first tree, you can permanently rebuild camo balloons in the radius while it's submerged. And the re permanently rebuilding camos means that you're gonna remove the camo effect from the balloon. So you're gonna turn like this case a green balloon, a camo green balloon into a normal green balloon. So towers without camo detection now you can see that the balloon is different and can uh, the balloon is not anymore camo. Okay so that's what rebuilding camo means. But unfortunately while the submarine is submerged uh, you ha yes you have you can detect camo but the submarine will not pop the balloon so it will not attack it. So in order to attack it, you need to take it out of water and not uh, have it submerged anymore. And then you can submerge it in again to the dead camo and so on. So that's the third upgrade. Then with the fourth upgrade, uh, you're going to reveal camo this time. Wait, I'm, I have to show you something first. So the main problem with this revealing camo with the third upgrade is the fact that the revealing camo is not instantly. So you can see here that these pinks, these pink camo balloons enter into the range of the sub and actually are not uh, the camo size, I don't know how to say it, uh, instantly. The, there is a little delay because the submarine is gonna reveal camo balloons with this pulse that you can see right here, this line right here. So from the inside, outside. So that is what is gonna reveal camo balloons. That means that if uh, camo balloons are too fast, for example here pinks round 100, you may have like that pink right there, another one, you may have some camo balloons sneaking through and not being revealed by the radar because of their speed. Uh, instead with the fourth upgrade, you you keep the, de the detection of the camos while the, super the submarine is submerged, so if you take it out of water, you lose the radar, so you lose the rebuilding of the camos, you lose the, the damage, and uh, and therefore you have to have it submerged to make it work. But now uh, the camo rebuilding is instantaneously. So as soon as the balloons enter in range of the submarine, they're going to be automatically rebuilt, and the camo status is going to be removed. Uh, this upgrade, as I said, is going to also do damage. It's going to do one um, layer of damage for uh, each balloon. So in this case here, a green balloon is going to pop green balloon into blue balloon into red balloon. 
and every second you pop two layers so that's how it works uh, and that's the first part of camo detention you can as well pop camo blooms with activated abilities in the middle path so with both the fourth and the fifth upgrade um, but of course uh, you're gonna be able to pop camo blooms in range of the explosion and then the other camo blooms are gonna be unharmed so in this case for example if I spawn one bloom and then another one and I use one ability with one missile I'm gonna be able to pop only the camo the camos that uh, were in radius all right so uh, in this case um, if I have a lot of camos one close to the other one for example here 100 I don't know um, yeah, let's wait for the cooldown 100 um, rainbow blooms okay this time the all the camo blooms are close to one another so if I use the ability right now all the blooms in range of the explosion are gonna be popped but the other ones are unharmed so it's not really um, an, a way that you can pop camos that is gonna be repeatable so um, yeah now you can also detect camo blooms with advanced intel if uh, there is another tower that has camo detention uh, and while camo blooms are in range of this tower with camo detention so just making the example with the ninja in this case camo detention by itself uh, if I spawn here a green some green camos you can see a submarine attacking when the green well, green blooms are in range of the ninja now when the green blooms exit the range of the ninja they're not targetable anymore uh, so only until the camo blooms are in range of the ninja they're they're targetable by the submarine then they're not anymore okay so that's also one way how you can detect camo indirectly so not directly with any of the upgrades of the submarine but having another tower that has camo detection so uh, I again I place the ninja but it could be whatever other tower it could be a zero zero two that monkey it could be a hero that has come with attention, it could be a village, it could be every, anything. Okay, so that being said, that was the more, the hardest part. Uh, the cost of the submarines are quite uh, cheap. So first upgrades, two, uh, second upgrades quite cheap as well. Third upgrades also pretty cheap. Fourth upgrades, um, the only difference is in the middle path. So the middle path is quite expensive because you gain the activated ability that can pop up to a oh my god, so of course um, that is why the upgrade is a little more expensive and then the fifth upgrades that again uh, except for the side commander they pretty cheap 25k 35k and 40k are pretty standard um, fifth uh, upgrades cost so yeah, it's pretty it's pretty standard uh, now I wanted to show you something that probably you have seen me doing in other uh, probably chimp gameplays but I'm gonna show you anywhere here that is um, oh no no not 100 bit <laughs> not not 100 bit is just one that is using effectively the first strike capability uh, to pop the BAD and therefore to pop the two Zomai gods and the and the three DDTs in one hit without having to worry about them so in this case the thing that you're really looking for is being able to reduce the BAD to pop these two um, um, like engines that are in the side of the BAD uh, and that's what you're looking for so that you see these two engines disappearing that means that the BAD is on the very last layer here, here we go uh, at this point so at this point here you can use a first strike capability missile and you can pop both the BAD, the three DDTs and the Zomegas in one hit. And this is super good because you can like especially in chimps you can abuse this strategy to be able to like defeat run 100 like it's nothing. So you don't have to deal against the two Zomegas, the three DDTs and so on. So it's just a trick that I wanted to show you because it's pretty uh, nice. 
uh, then um, now from my point of view and my usage of the of the submarines I think the best upgrade is just going with the 203 204 or 205 subs because of the fact that in this way you can place subs you can then place other towers and you can have the submarines attacking the balloons both in their range and in the range of the other towers so you can make the subs cover a huge portion of the map and uh, and in that way they can do more damage uh, so overall 203 204 or at the, with the sub commander upgrade is just the best one in my in my opinion uh, then second uh, favorite upgrade I think must be the middle path so the first strike capability for the very simple reason that I as I uh, showed you the BAD uh, interaction so popping the last layer of the BAD the three DDTs and the two Domegas just with one missile so it's super uh, super effective uh, then regarding the first uh, um, the first three upgrades uh, it may depend so sometimes you're gonna need uh, the balloon turn reactor to pop balloons and to uh, the third camo balloons and to rebuild them um, but normally I don't know it's something that I don't really get a lot because already with advanced intel and the bottom path is all you your you need so two zero three subs you can use though and that this is a this I must uh, say the fifth upgrade uh, to level up your heroes faster and to have uh, lesser cooldowns if you read this description it says that you reduce the cooldowns everywhere by 20 percent uh, so if you're using a strategy that involves using a lot of activated abilities like for example um, a 050 sniper right with the fifth upgrade here the energizer the sniper ability is recharging faster heroes abilities also recharge faster so if I use here uh, pass level 3 I can use it again uh, sooner because of the fact that it's being reduced by 20% uh, and also the most important thing is the fact that heroes in radius of this submarine earn experience 50% faster now this is huge especially for those heroes like Azili, Captain Churchill that level up very very slowly and so normally in round 100 you're not gonna have them unlocked uh, level 20 you're gonna may have them like level 16 uh, level 17 or stuff like that so if you get an energizer uh, in a position and you cover the heroes in uh, in range so for example imagine this is like Captain Churchill right uh, throughout the rounds Captain Churchill will earn experience uh, 50 50 percent faster so that's a lot faster and therefore I may be able to unlock uh, the hero level 20 sooner maybe around 95 96 and therefore gaining more damage and on top of this the the water monkey is in range as well abilities are halved so the cooldowns are halved in this case if uh, if you have in range of this sub another sub 040 this cooldown is halved and this is a huge uh, buff because here imagine this BD I can use one first strike up ability and I can use then another one and see how fast it is recharging compared to uh, earlier on and uh, yeah so that's uh, that's just a honorable mention for the fifth upgrade but I think the other other for this meaning you normally you don't want to use it to really pop balloons but more of like a supporting maybe position and uh, yeah that's it so that was my submarine guys I hope you enjoyed and see ya bye bye